An induction program is the process used within many businesses to welcome new employees to the company and prepare them for their new role. It helps in the effective integration of the employee into the organization. Induction training should, according to TPI theory, include development of theoretical and practical skills, but also meet interaction needs that exist among the new employees. An induction program can also include the safety training delivered to contractors before they are permitted to enter a site or begin their work. It is usually focused on the particular safety issues of an organization but will often include much of the general company information delivered to employees. Benefits <inaudible> 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 An induction program is an important process for bringing staff into an organization. It provides an introduction to the working environment and the setup of the employee within the organization. The process will cover the employer and employee rights and the terms and conditions of employment. As a priority the induction program must cover any legal and compliance requirements for working at the company and pay attention to the health and safety of the new employee. An induction program is part of an organization's knowledge management process and is intended to enable the new starter to become a useful, integrated member of the team, rather than being thrown in at the deep end", without understanding how to do their job, or how their role fits in with the rest of the company. Good induction programs can increase productivity and reduce short-term turnover of staff. These programs can also play a critical role under the socialization to the organization in terms of performance, attitudes and organizational commitment. In addition well-designed induction programs can significantly increase the speed to competency of new employees thus meaning they are more productive in a shorter period of time. Topic: A typical induction program. A typical induction program will include at least some of the following: any legal requirements, for example, in the some health and safety training is obligatory; any regulatory requirements, for example, in the banking sector, certain forms need to be completed. Introduction to terms and conditions, for example, holiday entitlement, how to make expense claims, etc. A basic introduction to the company, and how the particular department fits in. A guided tour of the building. Completion of government requirements, for example, in submission of a P45 or P60. Setup of payroll details Introductions to key members of staff Specific job role train <laughs> Best practice In order to fully benefit the company and employee, the induction program should be planned in advance. The timetable should be prepared, detailing the induction activities for a set period of time ideally at least a week for the new employee, including a named member of staff who will be responsible for each activity. This plan should be circulated to everyone involved in the induction process, including the new starter. If possible it should be sent to the new starter in advance, if not co-created with the new starter it is also considered best practice to assign a buddy to every new starter. 
If possible this should be a person who the new starter will not be working with directly, but who can undertake some of the tasks on the induction program, as well as generally make the new employee feel welcome. For example, by ensuring they are included in any lunchtime social activities. See also Onboarding regarding acquiring, accommodating, assimilating and accelerating new employees Induction teachers for induction of teachers in England and Wales Employee exit management TPI theory Employee offboarding